The hardest part of studying is... What to focus on. The balance is the hardest part. When I get down to the fundamental, break it down, then that's where it gets kind of confusing. There's a lot of times where I stay up late just trying to figure out something on my own, where in class I got it, but my teacher's not there anymore, so now I, I don't know what I'm doing. Two five meters per second which is our unit then for velocity. Students will come to me from a wide variety of backgrounds, and I find that there's not one size that will fit every single student. That is the correct answer. If I had a technology that was able to essentially monitor students' progress and then see exactly the point where they're at and say, hey, here's a mistake that you made, here's the correction for it, at the moment that they make that mistake, that would be absolutely incredible. Thanks to the generous funding of the Lauren John Arnold Foundation, we're launching the OpenStax K-12 initiative that aims to advance the frontiers of digital learning. We'll continuously assess student progress and provide feedback and recommendations both directly to the student and also to the teacher so that they can provide just-in-time learning opportunities for students so that they can achieve their learning goals. We view the teacher as really central to the whole education process. So we're spending a lot of time collaborating with K-12 teachers and students so that we can design a tool that is leveraging research results from the field of cognitive science, which tries to understand how people learn and how they retain what they learn. The one thing that's frustrating is I'm not able to give the students the immediate feedback that they need. If there's a gap between when I turn an assignment and then get feedback, then it just kind of goes out the window for me. I find that their effort is directly related with how much I give them feedback on how they're doing. In order to give immediate feedback, I would have to be right there with them. If I take something home to grade it to give them back the next day, I've lost that window of time. They've thought they were correct for an entire day. The OpenStax K-12, we aim to maximize the, the students' return on effort, but they're covering really the material that they need to learn right now. If they have to open up another book, go online to some other resource, they're going to waste a lot more time searching. They put all this effort in, but if it's effort into something that's not really valuable for the course, it's not going to make a difference. For teachers, the idea is to provide them with the data that they can use so that they can make really quick interventions with students so that they can, again, maximize their opportunities for learning. We're going to use that same information and, and data to actually drive improvement in the content, in the curriculum, so that the books actually get better over time. An interactive textbook would completely change the way that I teach. It would change the way that the students are able to learn, all in a positive way. Essentially multiply the number of teachers that are able to help that student. I love when I read a textbook and I have that eureka moment where I just understand and I'm super happy with myself. That's really what I want in a textbook. 